Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Laura Wilkie with Down Home with Lemon Pie, and this video is going to be all about the sacrifices we make in our homes in order to homeschool. All right, guys, welcome back. If you're brand new to my channel, I am so glad you're here. Um, this is a collaboration video with several other YouTube mamas who um, wanted to kind of collaborate together and share what we um, are sacrificing in order to homeschool our children in our homes. Um, this collaboration is hosted by Christy Hawkins and she is over at Grace Field. I will list the links below in the description of this video so that you can um, check out the other mamas and videos and see what they have to say on this topic as well. Okay guys, um, if you're new to my channel, you're visiting from somebody else's channel, I am so glad you're here. I really want you to subscribe and I also want you to comment and let me know that you came by and say hello. Um, I would love to interact with you and um, just let me know that you're here. A little bit of background about me. I am a Christian stay-at-home homeschool mom. I have six kids. I actually have one more on the way. So we are closing in on number seven um, in just a couple months. And um, we, we are just a homeschool family. We've been homeschooling from the very beginning. Our kids have never been in public school. We have done this from the start. And my kids range in age right now from three to 10. So um, we've been doing it for several years. I do wanna throw it out there that in the end of October, I am gonna be hosting a baby week and sharing with you guys all of the things baby related as we um, start to prepare for the new arrival of our new little one. So look for that. There will be a new video every day that week. And if you haven't checked out my brand new curriculum, which is a year of playing, of learning through play with Eric Carl, you can find that also in the description of this video. Okay, guys, so let's talk about sacrifices. Um, for our family, it really wasn't a big sacrifice. Before, we knew we always wanted to homeschool. Um, once we started having kids, we knew that was um, going to be in the plan. And from the beginning, like, bef well, I guess before we had kids, um, I had a job and I worked and we had all the things. We had a big house and, um, you know, we had two incomes. So we had extra money, we had extra things, just all the stuff. And I will say that has been the biggest sacrifice is sacrificing that second income um, that just naturally comes from being home and not working. So it is a little bit of a, um, of a sacrifice, I guess, a financial sacrifice in your home. But um, with that being said, I do want to add that the blessings and the benefits far, far outweigh um, the sacrifice that is made financially. Of course, there's the loss of the second income. There's additional expenses because you are providing um, your children's education. You are um, forking out the money up front for all of the things that you have to uh, purchase. And it may not seem like such a sacrifice if your kids are in like a private school because you're also paying for all that, those same kinds of expenses. Um, but it is this big sacrifice and we do have to um, just adjust, adjust your living, adjust your finances and kind of um, change the way you see the world basically and what's important and gauge differently um, what you're going to spend your money on. So the world's always telling us things like um, the kids need to have these Pinterest beautiful birthday parties, um, family photos every six months or three months, whatever. And they need to be by these professional photographers. They need to be the whole deal. Everybody needs to have matching outfits. Um, you need to have these gourmet meals in your home that are just delicious and wonderful. And that's just not that doesn't have to be that way. So, um, you know, I guess it just depends how big of a sacrifice it really is by how much you're listening to the world in regards to that manner. So, um, yeah, it's a bigger sacrifice for some. Um, I obviously don't go out and get my hair done and my nails done. Um, I actually cut our kids hair on our own. I just do it here at our house. I do the girls and the boys 
and um, I just looked up YouTube videos and have learned how to do that. And so it works out. No, it's not always perfect, <laughs> but it is part of the journey. Um, no, we don't buy um, high-end uh, clothing or brands. Um, we don't follow the trends when it comes to clothing or toys. We don't go to movies, um, movie theaters. We do like in-home movie nights. We get clothes from other friends who just, they just give them to us. Um, we also, that also happens with homeschool supplies. Um, we don't always have a clean and tidy house because the kids are here all the time. So I guess there's that. Um, we're always here. We're always busy. We don't have a maid. That's me. We don't have a chef. That's me. <laughs> so it is a little bit of a sacrifice in regards to that. But honestly, to be completely honest with you guys, um, it's also a mindset. And for us, I don't think that is um, necessarily a sacrifice so much so that it is just being a mob and being a family and um, having, having, um, having that that mindset of focused on your home and your husband and your children and not so focused on yourself. Um, kind of that, like, that's what Jesus wants, right? He wanted us to not be um, so selfish and I need me time because I can tell you right now when you homeschool, there's pretty much no me time. Um, but just learning to live in a different way than the, what the world is constantly telling us. The world always tells you, oh, you need to have girls nights and you need to have time to yourself and all this stuff. And when I did work, I did go out with my friends. Like we would have lunch dates and we would go shopping during our lunch breaks, um, just all the things. And so we don't do all of that, but we have a better um, family life, a better home life. The kids are closer to us. Um, so I don't know if I would even call it a sacrifice so much as a lifestyle change or a different mindset. Like I said, um, it's really just, um, it's not important. It really doesn't even matter to me anymore um, whether or not I get me time. <laughs> I guess um, there's not like, um, I guess, like the, I don't even know what you would call it. There's not even like the uh, status, I guess, that comes from a job. Like you get, you do well in your job and you get promotions or you get certificates or you get raises or you get um, tenure or you get um, just all these benefits. There's none of that. But there are benefits that are long term that are not necessarily immediate. There is a definite benefit to um, the way our family lives and the way we interact together. The focus is not on me as a provider, but is on my husband as a provider. And I am more of the caretaker and kind of the home management organizer, I guess. So that has, um, but again, that's, to me, that's just a lifestyle change. It's, it's, a, it's going against what the world tells us to do. It's, um, and that's what Jesus says, right? He says, if the world um, hates you or tells you to do things this way, that that's, um, they also hated him. And they also told him that the way he did things was wrong too. And it's really just, you know, he says, be not like the world, be, be like me. And so, it's for us it's not it's more of a mindset it's more of a lifestyle change like i keep saying um there's really not that many sacrifices that we've had to make in homeschooling um it's just been something we always knew we wanted to do something that has been a huge blessing something that has weighed heavily on our hearts and has been just a um a wonderful thing in our home for our children. The bonds with our children um, together is so much greater than it would be if they were all in different grades at different schools. Um, the bonds they have with us as parents is greater and than it would be if they were relying most of the day on their teachers for their guidance. And their trust in us as parents is much greater. I remember going to public school myself and um, feeling like my teachers were 
more like I would respect them more than my own parents because I was with them more and they would teach me and and guide me through life basically so um the our kids though don't have that they have that dependence and reliance and trust with us as parents so that is actually not really a sacrifice that is a huge blessing in our home and we are so grateful and thankful for that um there's homeschooling has come so far there are so many resources available now there are so many groups available so many like co-ops um extracurricular activities there's just so much available that it almost the sacrifice has almost dissipated in at least in our experience um, the kids don't miss out on extracurricular activities they don't miss out on social events or social um, interactions which is always the one that people are so worried about um, they have a host of friends that are also homeschooled through homeschool groups that we're part of through extracurricular activities and also through our church so um, and some of those kids are also homeschooled some are not they also go to public schools or private schools or whatever and our kids are growing they are um they are healthy they are well rounded it is just a beautiful beautiful lifestyle for our family and our home and ultimately it's hard to even say or to even think of what a sacrifice would be to this to this um choice that we've chosen in our home because uh, homeschooling really is more than anything a blessing for us um, it doesn't have to be hard unless you you know you make it harder than it needs to be a lot of times that's all on the parents it's all on us we just want it to be a certain way and so we make it harder for our kids or and I am especially guilty of this too I'm talking to myself too so um, you know we just do we get we have so many things we want them to be able to experience and achieve that sometimes if it's hard it's really us making it hard so um, it really hasn't been a huge sacrifice in our home it has more so been a beautiful beautiful blessing a beautiful growing experience for our entire family um, it's just great and um, I don't know I think that it is probably one of the greatest components as to to why we're so happy in our home as well um yeah is because we're here we're we're growing we're living experiencing life together there's not a see you in the morning for a few minutes and then see you for a few minutes in the evening we're experiencing everything throughout life all together and it's just wonderful for our family um so that is kind of my take on the sacrifices to homeschooling. Um, if you are visiting from another channel, like I said, please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'm looking forward to baby week. Um, in the meantime, you can check out all of my other videos. And if you are one of my viewers and you want to see what other moms have to say on this subject, what sacrifices they're making in their own homes, um, check out the description below this video and go check out their videos and see what they have to say. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.